So I was looking through day of eating videos and this lovely young lady came up, uh, Jenna Frumez, who's apparently Jason Derulo's boyfriend, more people, or uh, girlfriend, I'm sorry, and more people are familiar with him as a music artist as opposed to her as his girlfriend. Uh, and we very well know these people can afford whatever they want, private chefs, eating out every meal. Uh, so I think it's going to be pretty funny to see uh, Jenna pretend uh, that she actually does this stuff every day, just like some of the Victoria's Secret models have attempted to in the past. However, when they enter the kitchen and try to do certain things, it becomes blatantly obvious they've never done it before, let alone on a daily basis. So let's take a look. Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. It's just me today, sorry guys. I wanted to show you guys what I eat in a day. So first thing in the morning, we don't really like to eat heavy because we like to go to the gym first thing in the morning, but we read up on this celery juice situation. So we've been doing some celery juice. So basically what we'll do is we'll just blend celery and then add a little bit of water, drink that. We wait like 15 minutes or like 20 minutes, sometimes 30 minutes, just depends how our digestive tract is working. Well, it's not gonna be working too well if you're dousing your stomach in pesticides every single morning. And that's what these people are doing with this conventionally grown celery. I don't know if there's some type of celery lobby with that, uh, who is that nonsense guy that does that? The medical medium, this celery juice craze, everyone thinks it's so good for them. Even if you had the highest quality organic, locally grown celery from your backyard, at best, you might be hydrating yourself with some plant-based minerals, but what these people do every single time, because they never seem to use organic or high quality produce, is just drinking whatever the celery was grown with. The low quality water, the fluoride, the chlorine, the agrochemicals, herbicides, pesticides, fungicides, insecticides, and yeah, of course, you're not gonna feel that well. It's putting stress on your liver. And then we will have a ginger shot with lemon. So I'm gonna show you guys how I make that. I got my blender. So I put all of these in, and then I add some cold water. There's no cutting board. There's no knife. You know, it's very, very clean. It seems like all of this stuff was prepared ahead of time for her to do this video. Water, because usually this gets not cold. <laughs> like that much water. I don't know how, like measurement wise how much that is, but yeah, I'll go like right there. It doesn't taste good, I'm not gonna front. But you feel so good and it also curbs your appetite a bit so you can get through your workout without having a full meal and then you can eat after your workout. So I blend this up, cover your ears. <laughs> yeah. And then we drink up. Oh God. Okay, it's not morning right now, so I, I'm gonna take a break with this um, this thing and show you guys how I do the ginger shot. So she admits she's not actually filming what she eats in a day because it's not morning and she's, I, I don't know what's going on here. Uh, if you do keep the fiber in that shake, what it does is it increases the motility. So at least all of those toxins aren't just absorbed. Maybe, you know, the fiber is kind of pushing it through a little bit. Who knows? Probably just as bad. All right, so next I take some ginger, about like this much ginger. I don't peel it or anything. And that was kind of nasty. And then I just put it in. And then I take a lemon. Ooh, did I squirt you? No. no. Okay. <laughs> and I'm just gonna squirt. I mean, she didn't even clean the, the shaker from the celery. I mean, I mean what does that say? Uh, we're sure that this girl is used to just going to whatever local shop or ordering some already squeezed juice from Whole Foods or whatever juice bar is available. Side in. Oh, and it went everywhere. And I usually use just half of a lemon and then I still have to put like a little bit of water. I mean, there's gotta be another way, but I don't know it. So I just put more water, <laughs> probably about that much. Sometimes this works correctly. Sometimes I need to readjust. So what I've noticed about ginger is it really helps your digestive tract. And me and Jason both- We said that already. With using the restroom regularly. So it's just really- Yeah, because you're eating this crap all day. Help with the lemon, the vitamin C, it all boosts your immune system, which we all need right now. There's other benefits. The other benefits are <laughs> that. My ginger shots are a little more thick than the ones you get, you know, from the store. And then I just put it in literally. <laughs> we got a real wordsmith here. A shot glass. <laughs> Yummy! And that's my ginger shot. Cheers. 
I don't know what's worse, that or vodka, honestly. <laughs> it's so funny because this might be TMI, but I'm just gonna say it. Um, Jason takes a long time to use the bathroom. I like doing this because then he uses the restroom before we go to the gym. Because if he does it while we're at the gym, then it's like I have to wait on him an extra 30 minutes when I already got 30 minutes of a workout in. I don't know, is that gym where you met some dopey personal trainer that gave you all this advice on what to eat? I'll show you what we do for breakfast. Brunch. For breakfast time, what I personally love to do is avocado toast with egg. Jason actually loves this too, but he's not a big fan of bread. He uh, likes to watch his carbs. He loves avocado and egg though, so I'll usually just make him like eggs with a bunch of veggies and then um, a side of avocado and he'll do what he does. This is avocado oil, I think. <laughs> It might be canola. She, she doesn't even know what, what oil is in the bottle on her counter. They, they definitely have a private chef. She definitely doesn't do this herself. I don't know why she didn't just tell the truth and say, oh, my private chef makes the meals for me, what I eat. They, people, people know you have plenty of money. People know you have a private chef. People know they're cooking stuff for you. And these people try to act like they're humble or try to fit in with everyone else and appeal to the masses by pretending like they actually cook their own food. Put oil, I'm gonna put my eggs on. While that is heating up, what I like to do is set up my avocado. I love avocado. Moment of truth. So the eggy eggies are getting cooked. For my avocado, I do the same seasonings. Then I just mash it up. This is the final product of my avocado toast. I think it's beautiful. Do you think it's beautiful? I think it's beautiful. Well, if you made this with high quality, organic, local farm ingredients, this would actually be pretty good. Pasture raised eggs have a better omega-3 to omega-6 ratio, higher in nutrients, don't have estrogenic herbicides like atrazine, they're free from most agrochemicals. Same thing with the avocado and the bread. You want to remove as many chemicals as possible by going high quality. And there's kind of like three stages of enlightenment uh, for nutrition knowledge when it comes to food. Uh, for bread, the first stage is thinking like wheat or grain is healthy. In this case, she's using honey wheat, which she thinks is healthy because the word honey and wheat are in the bread. But in reality, it's a bunch of additives, chemicals, conventional yeast, a bunch of crap. The second stage of enlightenment is where people try to buy like 17 sprouted Ezekiel bread grown on, you know, a tree next to my mother's house. Just, just ridiculous marketing stuff. And then the third step, actually understanding nutrition, is when you do naturally fermented sourdough, when you're milling your own grain, and actual, actual high quality stuff, not just face value marketing, which is really what this video seems to be. Face value, conventional wisdom, what people perceive as healthy, that's not actually healthy. Mm -hmm. And that is what I do for brunch. I'm personally a big snacker. We're trying really hard this year to keep only like healthy snacks in the house. This is a snack that's actually something that I need, probiotics, so I will take this pretty often, almost every day, if I remember. And it tastes so good. I love this trail mix. 210 calories, that's a lot of calories for something this small. And I love apples. These are the honey crisp apples. These are my favorite apples. I'll eat like three of these a day sometimes. I love them so much. If I had to bet, I'd say this is a sponsored video. I mean. The marketing isn't bad. Activia dailies, you know, people spend money on that stuff every day. The actual ingredients are crap. It's conventional dairy, it's chemicals, it's ingredients. It's not the best probiotic strains. It's not high enough amounts. None of this stuff is healthy for you. You know, she was surprised at the calorie count of the snack mix. Why are you surprised if you're eating it every single day? She mentions Honeycrisp apples specifically. Yeah, it seems weird that every time someone mentions apples, they never really explain the flavor profile or why they like it more. They just mention the specific apple name. Okay, so dinner. Dinner is ready. It's a salad from Postmates. <laughs> so there's this salad spot that's really good. It's called Sweet Green. They're great. The truth comes out. This is realistically what they probably do every single meal. You know, they don't make stuff themselves. They might have a private chef. They might be ordering out but this is reality. I, I'm not gonna lie, I don't cook three times a day. I usually cook one time a day. It's either breakfast, lunch, or dinner. I feel like that's something that should have been said at the beginning of the video. Like, disclosure, I don't usually cook every meal, so let me show you guys what I would cook. Not title the video, what I eat in a day. So what I have in here is kale, spring mix, Hot sauce, lime cilantro, dressing, portobello, blackened chicken, raw beets, onions, sweet potatoes, spicy broccoli, cucumbers, basil, avocado. It's really just a bunch of low calorie vegetables. Some of these do have anti-nutrient concerns. Some of these are passable just as flavorings or 
you know, things to make the meals more enjoyable. If they were all organic and high quality, I would say this isn't that bad of a meal. But what makes it bad is specifically how the vegetables are grown, how the chicken is raised. It's full of chemicals. The omega fatty acid ratios are altered. You're poisoning yourself. The mineral content isn't as high. The way we grow our food now, you know, what does sweet green sell this salad for like 20, 25 bucks probably? And imagine what you'd have to pay if everything was organic. That's the way to be healthy though. And I wouldn't be surprised if, you know, behind the scenes, they do have a private chef. They do have all high quality ingredients being prepared for them. And this is just what they're telling the public. I get it's a salad, but it's like off the chain, like so good. This is really good because there's a lot of vegetables. There's my protein. So you don't always have to have meat to have protein. I actually have been low on protein. So I incorporated chicken back in my diet a little bit. There's protein in nearly everything. You just gotta look up how many grams. Okay, so when I'm not ordering Postmates, what I really like to do for dinner is I just pick like a protein, a vegetable, and a carb usually. One thing I love to make, which I should make on here, it'd be fun, is stuffed peppers, but I do it with Beyond Meat. So instead of like ground beef, you just get Beyond Meat and then make it the same way. Put your onions, your spices, your sauces. Between the celery juice, the salad, now she's promoing Beyond Meat. Very apparent that a bunch of different companies are paying her to make this. I can't imagine that's not the case. The product placement is so conspicuous. And it's just as good, I promise. So definitely let me know if you guys wanna see more of the stuff that I eat because I can do that. So just comment below if you feel you wanna see that. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. One of my highest requested videos has to be what I eat in a day. It's been long overdue and I've been wanting to share it with you for a while. I mean, has there been anyone that's been reasonable with nutrition at least? You know, that chick, Sophia Esperanza, was using decent quality organic ingredients. She put some time and effort into the meals. Overall, the only thing I have to say is the same thing I've said with a lot of these other influencers and models. You know, to the general public, if you eat like this, you will never, ever look like this. These people are liars. They're deceiving you. They're just trying to make a quick buck and live their luxury lives. Uh, so thank you guys for joining me today. If you can please drop a like on the video, leave me a comment down below, subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week. And because of that, please stay in touch by signing up on frank com for the newsletter. Thanks again for joining me, guys. I'll see you for tomorrow's video.